If you want to see me create my first look using the Diamond Dreams and the Lip Dreams collections, then stick around. Hi there, it's Ilan, and yes, we're going to play with two brand new kits today. I have swatched them, but I have not tried them on. The first one is the Diamond Dreams Collection by Lise Watier. I'll be trying the eyeshadow palette and the face palette, uh, not the lip gloss today. And then I have this other one, which is the trio of um, the Lip Dreams trio, it's called. And I'm going to be working with, I believe, the lip liner and lip gloss, but I could change my mind. The reason I'm not going to use this lipstick is I've shown it in two videos so far. It is my favorite out of everything that I've seen so far in the Lise Wetsy collection because I love the color and it's called Sucre d'Orge, which has so many beautiful memories attached to that name that um, from Christmas and growing up and that that it would show up in every video with these Wetsier stuff in it and I don't want to do that to you because it's my obsession. It doesn't have to be yours. But I highly recommend it. Blah blah blah. Let me tell you what is on my face so far. I have done a Becca a Velvet Blur Primer. I have done for the first time, where is it? I've applied for the first time the Double Wear from Estee Lauder. If you're curious what shade I am, I am in Bone 1W1. I have never tried this foundation before. So far, so good. Uh, it is, I guess it's buildable, but right now I have it on as a light coverage. Very happy with that. On my eyes and eyebrows, I am using the Smashbox Matte Exposure Palette. It is my Pan That Palette, so I'm using it in my brows, and I'm also using it to set my primer using Wheat and Desert. In my eyebrows, I have Sumatra as an eyeshadow uh, with uh, ABH Clear Brow Gel. I think that you're... Oh, uh, I almost forgot. And I also have the Urban Decay Zero Black Liner on my upper waterline, which is, these are all things I normally do before I start filming a look, except for the double wear because that's new, but usually I have, yes, foundation on. Blah, blah, blah. I think I'm ready. So we're going to go, I think, with face products first. And the face product and eyeshadow palettes look the same. They're both absolutely beautiful and the lip gloss that comes with these two palettes also has this kind of design on the top of the package it's just it's really pretty now we're going to go into this palette and I am going to go I think for this rosy blush and this icy looking highlighter all right I'm going to use this Smashbox uh, blush brush it is called the, it has <laughs> the blurring shadow brush or blurring blush brush, but I am going to have to really remember that because it has worn off completely. There are only two letters left in the name. All right, so we're going to go, like I said, into this one, which is a nice dusty rose blush. And it, they are uh, quite powdery, but I don't mind that for a blush. I don't like a blush to be too heavy to begin with. I want the blush to be uh, buildable. And of course, how buildable it is depends on your skin tone, obviously, for any color. And yeah, I don't even have an eye look yet, but I do feel like I'm pretty washed out. And I thought that you would appreciate me having a little bit of color. Oh, and I did not mention, I did also use the Tartiste um, the Tarte Tartiste uh, Pro Contour from the Pro Glow Palette. Uh, I am trying to pan that. And um, if you want to see my Partners in Cream update, I'll put it there. And it also gives me a little color because just having the double wear on with no color <laughs> to define my face would have been pretty stark. I think I like this. Okay. It's a very pretty color. Now let's go for the highlighter. And I was mentioning that I wanted to use this highlighter above the Dusty Rose. So it's a very basic highlighter. And I'm using uh, this Feather 
brush. It's called the Pro Featherweight Blending Brush, and I use it for highlighter, and I'm quite happy with it. Oh, nice. That is super pretty. Got a little something here. That is super pretty. Nice. Okay. Very happy with that. It makes me think of the Estee Lauder um, something Mercury. There's uh, the highlighter that's included in the Estee Lauder Holiday Blockbuster set this year. But this one is more blingy than that one. But the base color in the pen, they look the same. This one has just more to it. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'll stop moving my head back and forth. Hopefully you can see it. Definitely powdery, so there's there's powder residue on here. So you don't have to go in and dig, um, which is nice. Some blushes are too tightly packed, like the um, Elizabeth Arden Holiday Set 2019. <laughs> I was damaging my brushes trying to get, trying to pick up product on one of the two, and the other one barely picked up and one didn't pick up at all. So I'm not mad at this. This is nice. Let's protect our brushes. Now I know what you're waiting for, and you're waiting for the eyeshadow palette. If you have not seen the swatches for this eyeshadow palette, I will put the swatches video right there. You'll see the face palette and the eyeshadow palette in that swatches video. Okay, now. What will I do? Let's go to town. I am going to use this bottom row. That's what I want to do. I was giving this one a bit of a hard time. I love this one, and this one I find is really, really light, but would look good on the brow bone, I'm sure. Let's give it a shot. So why not take care of the brow bone, and probably the, a very, very inner lid is what I'll use as well for this pink shadow, and they don't have names. It's going to do the brow bone here. And I'm only using three colors, so I'll do both eyes at the same time this time around. Like I said, I'll probably use it on the inner to a third of the lid, but I'll do that last because otherwise the burgundy will just overpower it. Of course, I reserve the right to change my mind, but that, that did a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now I'm going to go in with this brush, and I think I'm going to use this color here just, just to set a little bit of something in the crease before I go into the burgundy and the chocolate. And I really like this kind of a matte to just go into the crease. Like I said, I have some Smashbox color uh, in the crease already to set my primer, but uh, which is the NYX Eyeshadow Base 03, if you're curious. But um, And why did I pick 03? Because it was on sale and it does a good job, so I'm fine with it. I bought two back to back, so I'm committed to using that eyeshadow primer for a while. Okay, that's looking all right. Although, I mean, this this is one of those colors, if you can only use a couple of colors and you need to be out the door, that brow bone color and this one, I see it as my eyes, but better. Just my eyes looking really rested and happy. That looked pretty good. It looks pretty good as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to switch to a another crease brush. Um, this one is from Sephora and it has quite a tapered bottom but quite a bulbous top. And I think that I'm going to use this one to go into the brown and then use a more of a packer brush once I'm done with having that chocolate in the crease, the lower crease. So let's see how this goes. I packed it on pretty good. It's going to go gingerly first, see how it behaves. Oh gosh, I loved it in the swatches and I'm loving it now. It's such a pretty color. I would definitely say, because it's quite tacky, 
I would definitely say that you want to have another shadow underneath. So I'm really happy that I went with the mat underneath. Look at that, right? It's just, it feels effortless. Just building it upward. And I'm not even adding. This is just the one dip into the pan and I'm working with it. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to go on the lower outer lid. I could just be done. I could just be done. Like this, this could have been it. This could act absolutely be it. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to add a tiny bit right here. All right. The challenge, recreating that on the other side. So far, I am really, really impressed. These are very nice shadows. I thought the formula was different from last year, but of course, until you like swatches give you some information, but as I'm putting it on my eyes now, it just it just feels very um, creamy, very very blendable. Let's go into the crease again. So I just added a little bit more product on my brush. I'm just, I'm, I'm not saying much. I'm just, just experiencing this eyeshadow and I'm just having a great time. And I mean, I use a ton of, I use a ton of different eyeshadow. This is just, this is turning out to be a real treat. And no, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> this is just really a treat. I mean, do not be scared of deep shadows in this. Um, I mean, look at how deep this is. Do not be scared of deep shadows in this uh, particular nine pan palette. I'm, I'm just, I'm super, super happy with the way this is turning out. Now I just want to see if it's even. Let's say it's even. Now I want to go in with that red. No. I think I'm going to go in with a packer brush and accentuate this brown and then I'm going to go into the red and just kind of progressively move toward the inner lid. And as a packer brush I'm going to use this one which is the, I keep wanting to call it precise but it's not, full coverage shadow brush which every time I look at the name I think that's a very appropriate name and then I promptly forget it. And this brush should give me a, yep, there we go. It turns the brown super satiny. It is so rich. It is just beautiful. And because it's already in the crease, I don't wor need to worry about the brown blending with whatever's in the crease because that color is already there. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side. I could possibly see myself hitting pen in this eyeshadow palette. I am so impressed. I mean, there are some bold colors in here, but I think that this would be a work palette. My power look work palette. It is so nice. And I think I'm going to just take my crease brush and just bring the brown just a little bit further in because I'm going to have some pretty deep colors. I just want to make sure to extend the crease just a little bit. Okay. 
We've got the brown on both sides. I'm going to wipe off this brush and go into the burgundy. My brush has a little fluff on it, but it is clean and ready to go for this shadow right here. And let's see how this one does. I'm going right in heavy on this brush and we're going to go a little bit over the brown. Oh, they're playing so well together. Look at that, it almost looks like the brown and the burgundy are duochrome duo. Nice. That is super. Wow, this is... Swatches give you some information, but I tell you, doing your eye look, that just changes everything. The first impressions tells you a lot of what you're going to likely do with a palette. I think swatches are good to decide whether you want to buy a palette, but a first impression tells you whether or not you're going to really use the palette. I'm showing you this brush. It's the Multitasker brush from Smashbox. I'm Smashbox happy today. Going right into that burgundy again because I'm going to go into the inner lid and pull it towards what I've already done. I was talking uh, when I was doing the swatches about how creamy it is, and I'm, I've mentioned creamy a couple of times as I'm doing this look. I don't normally use that word with eyeshadows. There's just something about this particular uh, formula that just makes me want to use the word over and over again. All right, other side. Now trying to be matchy matchy on the corners. I've got a bit of missing color um, thinking that I had gone to where I need to, but I'm going to have to bring that beige down a little bit so that the crease is in the right spot, starting in the right spot on the inner, very, very inner lid. And that might be a little touchy. I'm going to use a pencil brush to try to bring that beige closer to the inner lid here. I think that's going to work. I almost went into the burgundy for the second eye and that would have been cute. Not so cute. Okay, and just going back into that brush um, where I that I used for, did I use that one? I think I did. For uh, going up and making sure that it works with the rest of the brown. And I go, just because of the way my brows are, I, I will tend to go in with some color quite close to the nose. But I, I feel like my eyes pull out enough that, that I don't, start looking like I've got eyes that are too close set, so I, I think it works for me. And I'm going to take a brush to just dust off the, there's just a little bit of fallout, not a whole lot. This is my uh, fallout proofer. Oh, I'm not seeing, I need to go back in with this brush. I'm seeing that it's not quite blended here. That side doesn't look as bad. That side just had a little something going on. Okay, where am I at? I'm, I'm happy with the burgundy. I'm happy with the chocolate. I want to go in with this very, very pale matte that I put on the brow bone and I want to cover up just a little bit of the burgundy on the very inner corner. And I don't think I have anything blingy enough. I'm going to call myself a liar. 
No, I'm going to change my mind again. I'm going to go in with this color because it's a very, very light color that I remembered from the swatch and I just confirmed it here. It's a very, very light dusting of silver. And I think that that would look good on the inner corner and then lightly over just a little bit of that burgundy. Well, burgundy fuchsia, it's kind of in between, right? I'm going to go right back into that pencil brush that I was using and I'm going to go into that silver and just tap it gently over that burgundy, burgundy fuchsia. Let's do a little bit more. because I think it's giving me the effect that I want. Yeah, it's just lightening it up a little bit. And then, uh, now I'm going to go in with the, the pencil brush a little bit more and go into the inner corner and put just that color. Yeah. Yeah, that's looking good. So let's do the other side. Once you've got one side done, it's a lot easier to replicate on the other side because you know how the shadow is behaving. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of saying that, that you would be doing the same thing. At least I can speak for my behavior. I'm, I'm a lot more sheepish on the first side. And then when I know how it works, I'm gung-ho for the other side. Okay, and now right into the inner corner as I did on the first side. My left, your right. No. Your left, my right. That looks really nice. So there's there's color on the lid, nothing too crazy. Now I'm a color girl, but this, this I could wear anywhere. Uh, so just a little bit of brightening on the very, very inner lid. Very neutral from the crease up, so it's nothing too dramatic. Definitely could be an evening look, definitely could be a day look. Um, I would even wear this uh, at the office without having any concerns. As, as I mentioned, I'm repeating myself. Um, so now let's just uh, finish up the eye look and then go to lips. And to finish up the eye look, I already have liner on the upper waterline. I do want to try the liquid liner from Lise Wetsy, which I think is called Feline. And also, do I have a liner from her? I have a lip liner and a lipstick, of course, from that kit. Let me just see. I don't think I have um, a liner liner. No, I don't. So I'm going to use the feline liner and then find another liner for the lower lash line. I think, oh no, I have a set of her pencils. I'm going to use the uh, plum pencil on my lower waterline, I think, or lower waterline lash line. I think that's going to go well. But for now, I'm going to try this 1.2 mil feline uh, pen. Um, and I do believe that it has, it's so much smaller, but it has more product than the Estee Lauder pen. Um, when I did my first impressions of Estee Lauder, I did mention that there was not a whole lot of product. This one has more. So um, just as a comment, it matters to take a look how much product is in, and if I'm, if I'm wrong, it's going to be on the screen, um, but I'm quite sure that I'm right on this one, uh, that it matters to take a look at how much product is in those pens. Both from a cost benefit perspective and also from an environmental perspective. This is a lot of plastic. And if you can find a pen that has three times as much product as another one, which I'm not saying is the case in this case, but um, that that has substantially more product than something else that you were considering purchasing, well, then it makes more sense. I need both hands here for this one. It makes more sense to get the product that has more the the the, uh, the item that has more product in it assuming all else is equal so it's going pretty well I'm not as jazzed about felt tip applicators and it's very very big um, it's a little bit stiff I'm not hiding what I'm doing it's a little bit stiff, 
and I'm having a little bit of trouble manipulating it. And so I wasn't crazy about the Estee Lauder one either. Um, this one, I'm, 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 I'm happy there's more product, but I'm, uh, I'm not happy, happy with the applicator. It is really hard to do this on camera when I'm not, I don't have my usual setup, but at least they look relatively similar. Okay, I don't need to be that close to you that long. Yeah, we just met. Well, for some of you, you've been around for a long time, so maybe we're, we're at that stage, you know? Okay, uh, let's see. I do not have a mascara from uh, Lise Watier, so I'm going to use my Estee Lauder mascara. And it is this one, which is the Sumptuous Extreme. So let's do a little bit of mascara and I will take care of the lower lash line afterwards. I did mention it in my first impressions with the Estee Lauder um, last year, starting last year. It is a very big wand. <laughs> it's very long. And so I tend to make a mess with it. I'm just going to grab another mirror so I'm not just creeping towards you. It's just social distancing, Ellen, social distancing. There we go. You just can't be too careful. I am feeling giddy because this eye look is lovely and I used one of the colors that I was concerned about. I was kind of curious about the burgundy burgundy slash fuchsia, and I was concerned about the blue. So one down, one to go, as far as how they behave. And I'm always like that. If I poo-poo a color, I'm not sure about a color, it's, I'm gonna go straight to it. I'm gonna go straight to it and use it right out of the gate because I want to either correct myself or just know that it sucks and be done with it. And I think that that's not a bad thing because it's either you, you have a pleasant surprise or you confirm it's just not a color you're going to use and, and, and you, move, you move on. That's, that's fine. Just, I'm super chatty today. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Just not my professional self today. I think one coat is enough. I, I think this is a dramatic enough look. I don't need to go crazy with mascara. One coat is enough. And itchy nose. And now I'm uh, ready to do the lower lash line. Let me get that uh, Lise Watier pencil in Prune or Plum and I will be right back. And here it is. It is uh, Prune Intense or Intense Plum. And it says intense waterproof liner, and it's it was part of a mini set from the Christmas um, or holiday set event last year. And in this case, the cap goes on the end, which I appreciate. And then does it do it on the feline? Because it didn't do it on the um, Lauder pencil. No, it doesn't on this one either. I really do like when a cap goes on the end of a pen, uh, because then you, you're not hunting for it. Uh, across your mess of makeup uh, when you're done. So anyway, moving right along, let's do the liner. And I'm going to do on the lower uh, lash line, water line. And it looks like a really great match to what I have on, going on on the upper lid. And I really didn't do anything on the lower lid. I brought the chocolate down a little bit um, but that's about it. And I'm okay with that. I think this is enough. Went a little bit low with the color. seems to have wiped off pretty easily because it's not set yet. I 
got a little bit of goop down here. I think it was just kind of leftover mascara. And I have a something on my nose. Don't know how long that's been there. Okay, so now all I want to do is I want to set my face and I want to put lipstick on uh, my lips using that uh, lip set. And so what I think I'm going to do, because I haven't used them yet, I'm going to use the lip liner and the gloss. Uh, like I said, I've used this lipstick a lot. I love it, um, but let's use something else. But it doesn't prevent me to, from showing you this lipstick. So this lipstick is made in Canada. It's, it's a gorgeous cap, has Lisuetsi here, has Lisuetsi around the bottom of the lipstick, and it's a very generous amount, and the color is gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Now for what it is, I'm going to use the two other items in the kit. There is a lip gloss, and it has, it has the light in it, and a mirror on the side that I haven't peeled off the plastic for yet. And I have no idea how to do that. Okay, I did not realize I was not recording. <laughs> so I just put on a little bit of the uh, lip pencil in uh, Nude 477, which came from this trio of uh, lip products, as I said, I'm not using this lipstick because that is the lipstick I've been gushing over. I'm using this pencil and this lip gloss. And I have the, uh, like I said, the top lip done. And now going to the bottom lip. And why not test the mirror? That's what I'm using right now. Pretty good mirror. I'm going to fill in my lips completely because the lip gloss is going to go over top and this is very very creamy. But I can tell it's going to set. You can already tell. It's starting to feel dry on the lips. Okay, that doesn't look bad with the, uh, the eye look. All right, very nice to put on. Did not tug at my lips at all. And now this, um, and I told you what the name was, Nude 477, and then this one is the Haute Lumière Nude Vibrations. Haute Lumière seems to be the name of the packaging, the style of, of lip gloss because of the light. And uh, Nude Vibrations seems to be the, um, the name. And it is 6 mil, which is quite a bit of product, product for a lip gloss. A lot of them are 5 mil. And it's a doe foot, well not really, a flat um, semi doe foot applicator. I like the, the angle of it. And the light is kind of funny. <laughs> If you go clubbing, you can use this. Okay, that is what it looks like. And the lip pencil barely came off on the um, lip gloss, which tells you it was setting pretty quickly. All right, what do I think of this look? I am really, really happy with this look. I do think, though, <laughs> that this would have gone better with it. So let me just give you a swatch so you can decide for yourself if it would have been a better match. I could be wrong. There's the, uh, the lipstick. I don't know. I think that that one would have done better, but no, no, this one, no, this one is just a wishful thinking situation. I am really, really happy with this palette. I think it did a great job. 
uh, giving me a look that is very fetching, sultry, but overall extremely appropriate. I, I think it goes well with, uh, with green eyes. I think it would go really well with brown eyes as well, definitely. I am not a big fan of this guy right here though. I think it is too light for most of us. It doesn't even show, it just looks white. And so I think why bother even making it slightly pink? I am really excited to try other colors. I really want to try this color. I really want to try that color. Um, the, the gold is a given. And then that, that smoky color with this very, very light uh, silver shimmer that is going to be a gorgeous smoky look as well. If you want to see that, oof, let me know. I will, I will definitely do <laughs> the smoky look with this palette because I think it's going to be absolutely bomb. Yeah. I've said enough. I've gushed enough. I will let you know in a comment right on the screen whether it wore well throughout the day, the, the lipstick and the lip uh, pencil, the eye look, the cheek products, and the cheek products I'm not really talking about. I feel like I talked about them a lot when I applied them. They're just, they're just very natural looking and, and they look like a great compliment for my skin tone and I'm happy with them and I know that the other two will probably look great and when I do my second look with these Wetsier, I'll make sure to use the other Too Faced products. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. If you uh, want a different look, if you have requests for specific colors, I am happy to oblige. Let me just give it to you the way the palette opens so that you can take a look. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Thank you.